Spoilers, 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 spoilers. We're talking about spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Thank you to our final patrons, Red Wolf, 4765, Midnight Gem Lord, and Sean. Thank you to our $3 members, Recliner Plays, and Red Wolf, 4765. And a very big thank you to our $25 patron, Alex Ice Rose. Who are this breakdown slash discussion on chapter, th I don't actually know, 356 spoilers and leaks for Black. Clover. Please never leave your own some leaks in the comments section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification bell to miss out on every video that comes to the channel. Also, also I do a Patreon below. Each more result as one. Come on, down with the of videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as little as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Now, let's hop into the discussion. What's up, guys? I'll post here. And spoilers! 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 I want to be slightly clickbaity. But I wasn't clickbaity enough to put any spoilers in the thumbnail. So I understand if you clicked on this video thinking it was just a weird collage of images. Because I have an idea of what I'm going to make the thumbnail. But, like, spoilers. Alright? Alright? I don't want to spoil anybody. I understand. I live on the internet. But some people are luckier than I. And they can avoid spoilers. But I cannot. And that's why I figured I might as well talk about them. Because why not? So we're here. Chapter 356 spoilers. I'm going to start talking about spoilers now. You have five seconds to leave. Five. Four. Three, two, what? Yuno dies. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yuno doesn't die. But regardless, <laughs> these spoilers kind of heat. These spoilers kind of heat. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it quick. Mainly because, like, I feel like these could be the substitute for the short reviews. I know some people want me to do short reviews. I'm sorry. It's just not in my nature anymore. Like, before, back in the day, back before I really got into Minecraft, I could do short reviews. But, like, now I'm just kind of, I'm kind of a long form kind of dude. I don't know why. Like, it, I, I can take 20 pages and make an hour and seven minute video that'll take me like three years to edit <laughs> off of one chapter. So here we are. Hello. We'll, we'll see if we can like switch it up a little bit here too. I'll do the camera when I'm ever I'm talking about spoilers and then official reviews will have the drawing and stuff like that. And obviously live reactions that are exclusively live reaction will stay live reaction. But here we are to talk about spoilers for Black Clover chapter 356. Obviously, Universe is Lucius. The first thing I need to apologize for, I'm sorry. To every Uno fan out there that I dis that I didn't agree with and I don't believe in or I didn't believe in, yeah, Uno's kind of him. Uno's definitely kind of him. So first page, first page we got here. I'm not gonna show anything because darn it, I do not want my video strikes. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using vague images or previous images from previously released chapters. They'll probably be right about here. I'm not sure. Editing me may either have a field day with this or <laughs> may just avoid it at all. It depends on what youtube says but regardless with that being the case we you get to see you know he's still he's still undoing the thingamajig he's undoing the thingamajig jiggy and we see that he's locked in he right he prepared he about to, he about to throw down i do not cannot read <laughs> cannot read japanese so i have no idea what what they're saying but we do see a whole bunch of angels they're flying up in the heaven angels ugly they still ugly they built like my left big toe they need to go somewhere i swear He's ugly, built backwards angels. And then we see something about Morris. Once again, like, the leaks I have do have, like, some minor translation. Apparently, this is Morris being like, hey, yo, these angels, they're heat. They're so heat, in fact, we can't even break their legs. Like, like they're literally, basically indestructible. Sure, they don't have legs, but you can't, you can't give them legs either by, like, tearing their lower half in half. Like, no, they, these guys are just that bulky, which is crazy. We're just giving magic null to everybody. Like, not everybody. I tell you, now that I think about it. Other than Austin, no one else really has, like, straight magic now in the verse. Which is weird. You would think it would happen more often. Like, but then again, like, it's, I mean, the absolute cancels the thing in some places, though. Like, you do have, like, someone who can just say, Ch -ch -ch bang, and you don't have any magic anymore. You can, but it's not as common as you think in a world so centered around magic. But I guess that's the thing that makes it unique. Like, you can't have a whole bunch of people running around being immune to magic. Because then how do you have a power system? Speaking of a power system, we see a whole bunch of the magic knights just go, hey ya Hududi! Hadoobi da And then they throw all their magic. Just everything. Just the whole thing. Just the whole thing. They throw it at his face. And, um, considering Morris just said that they are, in fact, immune to magic, this obviously does literally nothing. And, like, I don't blame... Once again, I feel kind of... How do I put this? A big, a big problem with having pre-set up battles for major cast members, like you already have Morris up against specific people like Merleona and Fugeleon. You already have the Silva family going up against their mama. You already have Lucius versus Yuno. No one really cares. 
<laughs> long story short, no one really cares about the rest of this. This is kind of just filler. Like, I bet, I 100% bet you could cut out all of this and no one would ask any questions. I know I wouldn't. But, we, of course, we got to touch on it. There's a bunch of people here. This is a big final war type thing. So, in the same way where we need to have fodder against fodder, we got to have fodder against fodder. Things, I think there are ways you can do it interestingly, though. I think a way that you could just show off Lucius more and, like, show off the power of these paladins is have these paladins who already have specific fight set up or have Lucius himself just start blitzing through and dealing with these people. Because, like, sure, it's fine to give them fodder to fight, which is what these angels are. They, like, don't have faces, they don't have names and nothing. They're just big things, immune to magic. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It works out. It does its job. But I think you could do something like the Fourth Great War did with Madara. Sure, you can have a whole bunch of fodder. And you can throw in a few important characters in there. But then drop Madara on them. Just straight up throw a main villain up against the fodder to show why the fodder is fodder. Instead of bringing up these nameless peons. Like, these work more in a video game for, like, grinding and stuff like that. But for a series, I know my, my eyes sort of glaze over. That's my thing. My eyes sort of glaze over whenever I see stuff like this. Like, oh, yes, of course, all these things that need to be fought by our fodder cast or literally unnamed characters. Like, I have not a single idea who any of these magic knights are who are attacking. But we need to have them there because they are here. So it's kind of, it's kind of whatever. However, we do see shock horror, none of their magic works. And we see the knights begin to freak out. I recognize this one guy. Once again, not going to show him. Fear. Fear. Fear holds me in place. What holds you in place? Because what holds me in place is fear. But regardless, with that being the case, you see this one guy, they're all falling in despair. Like, oh no, it's all bad. It's almost like they can be immune to our magic and we're all farther. Oh no. And then bada bing, bada boom. We do get to see. I shine like a diamond. Um, I've no, I've. So this is what happens when you speed read through a series. I have no idea what this woman's name is. She's Charlotte's attack. Hold on, wait a second. I am the Googler right now. I'm not. Let's see. Charlotte. So, uh, the black. Clo Bl Blade Clover. Black. Clo uh, Vover. Ah, there we go. Charlotte. Black Clover. Uh, what is her group? Briar Matt, Queen of Briar. No. Charlotte? Is that it? That is not it. That's not it, Cobra. That is not it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you love how professional I am? <laughs> but I don't know. This is a new series. I'm trying to figure out um, how I'm going to do this. This will probably evolve bit by bit more and more as time passes. Soul. There we go. Soul. Um, best girl. No. It's friendly Leona. I still can't. <laughs> like, I still can't even pretend. But best girl, Soul, comes up with an earth goal. She and that big dude from Land of the Rising Sun are going to... And we're going to have some strong earth kit. Sorry, but regardless, we see she she runs up and suddenly, the 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 shock horror, her magic it's suddenly effective on these things that are immune to magic. Crazy, bonkers! What could be happening? It's Daddy Uno. Daddy Uno came in and said, "Hey, let me slap my big girthy Peter Pan me on the table and show you the wonders of Neverland, ladies and gentlemen." And yeah, the spell is called Neverland. And apparently, um, I can't tell, but it seems like the spirit self grow up a bit she's like then again this could just be like what she looks like after she stores magic because i'm pretty sure it was set up a couple chapters ago it was either a couple chapters ago or before that that she is like that she just was holding up and storing magic so maybe this is just what happens again excess of magic like we've seen salamander has different sizes and even yeah all the nature spirits we've seen so far have had different levels of sizes and magic so it makes sense that Sylph would have one too, and it seems like their power combines to make Neverland, which is a combination of star magic and wind magic. W combo, I like the reference. You can probably tell why Peter Pan's in the thumbnail. <laughs> like, if you could have before, like, that's the thing. I feel bad, because, like, it's kind of a spoiler, but, like, you don't get that. Like, I feel like if, unless you're actively looking for it, you wouldn't get the references. I hope not. Because I, I feel bad about spoiling things, but I do want to talk about them. Like, these things do just exist, and I usually go silent until the review drops. But, like, I see them. I want to talk about them. And we see with this Neverland spell, all the other knights are able to actually do things. Which is good. You know, we like fodder, being able to do non-fodder things. See, some of these characters aren't fodder. Some of these characters I do recognize, but it's just like, I recognize them. I recognize their designs, but I'm not going to like go out of my way to search up their names. Because they're like fodder. Like none of this, like it's so, once again, the eyes glazing over effect where it just, like, it doesn't matter to me that these characters are here and doing things. 
it just be like that when it be like that, especially when it be like that. So I don't know. It's it's rough for them. I mean, we do get to see that Daddy Lucius wastes no time. He absolutely speed blitzes the taste out of Yuno's mouth. But once again, this is a base Yuno. This is not spirit dive. This is not anything like that. So obviously, blitzing base Yuno is still impressive. We've seen how more how amped he's gotten over time. But once again, Lucius is transformed. So him blitzing base Yuno is impressive, but not too impressive. Especially considering how strong we know Lucius is. However, something that is weird, he doesn't just... I mean, I guess, once again, we gotta have a plot. We gotta have some story progression. But he doesn't just... Like, if he blitzed them, all it would take is soul magic overwrite. Or just, like, ruin him. You literally have control over all the other magics of your siblings. You literally can just make a new person. I'm pretty sure you could destroy a person. Or alter them, at least. Like, take away his magic or something. But, once again, we gotta have a plot. So he slaps him in a Colonel Stasis Orb. And I will admit... This is a fire reference. I like this. I like this. We see that Lucius, you know, he used a chronostasis type spell. So, you know, should be just hammer time. Like, he should be frozen in place. But, you know, just turns around and is like, duh. Don't you know? No time passes in Neverland. And that's a pretty hard bar. But this whole Neverland stuff is really making me think. It. Does Pete, when, did Pete, when did Peter Pan come out? When did the story of Peter Pan come out? 1904. 1904. Black Clover World should predate this. I. How does the narrative of Peter Pan exist within that? I'm. I'm intrigued. Maybe that's just like a translation thing, or not even like a false translation thing. I'm intrigued to see if that's covered because, like, it's a cool reference. Don't get me wrong. It's a bar. Like, time doesn't pass in Neverland, and thus this. This does give more, like, I've I've seen people saying already, inaccessible speed for Black Clover, inaccessible speed for Black Clover, we're doing good, we're doing good. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. It's just, you know, immune to it. Like, due to the, due to the, um, what is it, the domain that he set up with his magic, he's immune. So I don't think, I don't think this means inaccessible speed, Black Clover, but don't be shocked if I get goonish and say this means accessible, <laughs> if this means accessible speed, Black Clover. But moving in no time is cool. We like it. We like it a lot. And that kind of makes, like, if it really, if this really is, you know, just pfft, shutting down everything, like, there's no time in general, like, he actually makes a Neverland effect, and he actually has some control over time itself, then everyone else moving in this would hypothetically be an accessible speed, and then that would upscale the unit. So, hypothetically, you still could get an accessible speed, maybe. We'll talk about it later. Probably in the review. However, we do get to see that Lucius is like, wow something i i literally have no idea what he says here but we do see you know does transcend he uses spirit dive and then he slashes lucius takes off one of his horns and you know probably gonna lose next chapter if not next chapter and a couple chapters i don't once again i still don't see you know winning like as cool as this chapter was for him i don't see brody winning like at all it just seems out of the cards for him no lie it's it's rough stuff but rough stuff can be enough if your name is not Macduff. <laughs> but regardless, W chapter. I mean, I have no idea what anyone's saying. I just could I knew it was called Neverland because there's some translation on the scan I'm looking at, but not all of it. But that's great. It's great. We like a W chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to do more spoiler talks more consistently because these are fun. Like these are where I can really just like meme about. Especially since I know I can't show any visuals. I'm going to just be a general I'll, I'll try to be funny, man, with these. I'll try to be funny, man, with these. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure the notification bell is missed out on every video that comes to the channel. Also, also, I do have a page down below. It's more result as one, count them one, down one. Listen to the videos, early content, and more. It will now become a member of the channel for result as three a month to get the same perks and more. Now, thank you so, thank you guys so much for watching once again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Bag with the Pencil, writing off.